Welcome to a special, um, I don't know, bonus. I, yeah, I guess it's what we'll call it. A bonus time lapse video of landscaping. This video is about 15 minutes long. This is super compressed video. It's not actually not even, let me explain how I did this. So I run Linux, which you may or may not know. You may or may not even know what that is. That's really unimportant. Basically, I wrote a script that takes a picture once a second. So I played in two two chunks, pretty much, doing this. And um, once in the morning, then once later on in the day, and I ran this script while I was doing it. So I was taking a picture, one picture every second. Um, and then I just took all those pictures and threw them together in some software to turn them into a video. And then I exported that video, recorded audio watching that video, and then took that audio and put it back with all the images and exported that to make the video that you're actually seeing now. Because I wasn't recording any audio when I was taking screenshots because like, well, this is going to be endless hours long. Um, and then I exported this uh, seven frames a second for video. Uh, anything fast in that, it, you just couldn't even tell what was going on. So have this instead and you can pretty much make out what's going on. Uh, I should say, probably, if you have motion sickness, don't even bother watching this. In fact, for pretty much no reason at all should you even bother watching this. It's super boring. But, as I told my siblings, who uh, were in the room while I was making this video, I have dedicated fans and subscribers. And some of them would be rather upset if suddenly in one episode, boom, I just have three quarters of my varium with flattened ground and grass placed everywhere. So I made this video. Uh, and that's about really it that there is to talk about the making of the video. Um, I started with, I think it was 44 iron ingots. By the time I was done, I believe I had two left. So I went through a lot of shovels, a lot of pickaxes, and you'll actually see most of that in the video because that takes long enough that there's pictures of it. Took down, I think, all the trees, um, except one giant sequoia, which I took down most of the bottom. I don't know how I'm going to get the top of that tree down. I hate taking down giant sequoias. There's just so many chunks of wood hidden, mixed in with the leaves. It takes forever to find them. Um, yeah, so I'm not looking for that. I tried starting it on fire. You'll actually see that in this video. You'll see me trying to burn it. I tried with lava, I tried with flint and steel. The fire was changed on the server after, I think it was a phoenix or something, started one of my trees on fire. Uh, the code for fire was changed, so it's much less likely to spread, and it's much more likely to go out. So everything I tried pretty much just ended up going out and really didn't accomplish a whole lot. Other than burning the trunk of the tree, so now I don't have an easy way to get back to the top. Yeah, super fun. And this whole video, honestly, super boring. I don't even know. Are you still even watching this? You're probably not. You probably left. You're like, well, this, wow, this video is so stupid. Why am I watching? Why am I wasting my time? And I don't know. I don't know. But here it is. Me digging a bunch of dirt, harvesting a bunch of stone, making a ton of tools. The goal here is to have a flat surface for the vivarium, which honestly, I think I did pretty good in my location selection. About half of it was already flat. So I only had to come through and flatten out about half of it. I had to put a bunch of dirt down over water in several areas, which is fine because I have tons and tons of dirt now from leveling all this ground out. Um, and I had to replace some sand and I had to replace some stone as well with dirt. That may actually end up changing. I don't know for sure yet. I have to really take a look and see what kind of ground cover nodes I have and see if there's something I can use to kind of make paths like in the center of these walkways or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to mess around with some things and see what I can figure out. Ah, <sighs> Yeah, just a lot of placing of dirt. Placing of stone tiles to make the perimeter. I tried not to do too much building. 
like you'll kind of notice as I go through on this mostly it's just removing the ground and I feel like I did a pretty good job at not really adding too much to the vivarium I did lay down one row of stone tile for the full perimeter and I got some of the way going for like my little pathway on the outside and the inside and outside walls didn't do anything for the dividers between the cages um, that I'll, I'll do in normal video so you can watch that uh, had to fight several monsters I never captured any I there was actually a couple opportunities that I probably could have and I actually really wanted to catch the giant rat which I don't even know if you'll notice in this video but I was like, no, nah, you know what? This is just to do landscaping. I'm not going to go get the giant rat, even though I really want it. I'm just going to do landscaping. There'll be more giant rats later. I can I can get it then. Removing trees. My favorite thing. This tree is... I don't even know how tall this is because I didn't have coordinates shown, which I generally don't do on any of my videos, except for right here. I was just showing it. I don't know which one's my altitude. I think that middle one, 400, or 45, 45 nodes tall. A normal tree's like 10, I think. Super tall. Leaf decay doesn't work unless there's no wood around it. There's wood scattered all up in there. There's no tree capacitators. There's no chainsaws. Those mods aren't on the server. So literally the only way to get it is to climb up in there and manually cut it all down with an axe which is totally not fun possibly possibly there's a small chance a very small chance i kind of know the admin of this server kind kind of know him you know like not just like know him as in i know his name but like we kind of sent some emails back and forth and had some you know friendly banter and i may be able to persuade him to just take world edit and just get rid of the rest of the floating tree that's in the sky. Uh, there'll probably be uh, a better view of that tree later on. Where you can see how much is still just sitting in the sky there. Looking dumb. And I just, I don't want to climb up there and remove it. That's just not fun. I don't, I don't even need the wood. I could use it for something, but I've already mu pretty much picked out all of my materials. So, I mean, we're using stone tile for the walls. Glass obviously has to stay glass. The upper ground is the default wood. And then that perimeter underground, or not underground, but that inside walkway is Aspen. I guess I could use, like, the Sequoia wood for the corner rooms. That'll be the little storage facilities. Could do that, I guess. But otherwise, I really don't need more other woods. Can maybe do something for the entranceway. The entranceway I want to make pretty grand. I haven't really figured it out too much yet. I'm gonna do that in a normal video. The entrance will be um if you guys have watched a few of these videos, you know where the stairway is up to the second level. Which isn't really even a second level, because there's you can kind of look down into the cages, but that's about it. Um but across the park from that. So about where that tall tree is I was chopping down is somewhere near there's going to be the entrance. And I kind of want to do like a bridge going over. If I have to, I'll put in the river myself. I think there's ready one there. There's actually a travel net pretty close to that. So it's perfect. So that is linked to one of the um, the spawn island or whatever you want to call it, the, the spawn location. So there's a travel net that'll take you close to the variant. And it's actually really close to that bridge where I want to put that bridge in the entryway so I'm kind of going to make it a, a path going out to that travel net and maybe beyond it I don't know for sure um but I really want to make a really nice looking entryway so we're going to do like some arch stuff I'm going to do some landscaping around it of course there's going to be a lot of landscaping involved um like maybe a little flower garden I'm going to put my mailbox there so uh, anybody that wants to leave eggs and gifts and things you know they'll have some place to put them um yeah it it should end up pretty impressive i still need to determine what materials i want to use for that um 
that little tree guy right here, he's too tall for that cage. So I made a um, an executive decision. Not executive at all. But the cages in the center of the zoo, you know where I was going to put that dragon that I couldn't put because I couldn't figure out how to make him hatch, which I still haven't even looked into. But that location, I'm going to raise those one note higher. So essentially what it's going to be is... What are they now? Four nodes tall, I think? It's going to be five nodes tall. So it's one node, no, one node taller. And that's going to let me put taller monsters in those inner viewing areas. Um, and then hopefully you'll be able to see more of them. I'll be putting glass over the tops on some, probably, for the aviary. Which I still don't even really know for sure how I'm going to do that. But I have only seen, I think, two bird types? So there's really not a whole lot of different birds to try. Here I am trying to burn that tree down. Didn't work very well. If the fire hadn't been modified, that tree would have burnt to the ground and I would have been okay. But even starting the leaves on fire, it wouldn't it just wouldn't spread. Very disappointing. I was really hoping I could just get rid of all of that with a fire. But nope. Nope, nope, nope. I, I don't know. What else am I supposed to say? Ooh, I know what I can say. So I recorded this time lapse in two chunks on Thanksgiving Day. Now, on that self same day, here in the good old United States of America, I don't even know what the background is or the reasoning, but for some reason we have giant sales around Thanksgiving. I don't know why. It's never really made a lot of sense to me. Uh, there's this whole Black Friday thing, which is the day after Thanksgiving, where there's just these crazy big sales. And most of the time, it's pretty much on garbage. Well, at least at the stores I've worked. I've worked two different retail jobs. Hated both of them. Fortunately, I don't work retail anymore, which is really, really, really nice. Especially because I get Thanksgiving and Black Friday off. Woohoo. But be that all as it may... I bought myself a brand spanking new, which at the time of this recording, I will have Yeti microphone. And uh, I think I actually talked about this in one of my other videos, but assuming you didn't see that video, um, I'm going to talk about it a little bit here. Yeti microphone, it's a nice microphone. It's professional quality at a non-professional price. Wait, did that even make sense? A non-professional? Uh, it just, it's a cheap enough price where it's it's not going to break the bank to buy. Like 100 bucks, 89.99 on sale. Normally 130. So I bought it. I'm waiting for it to arrive still. I bought it yesterday, so it's going to take a minute, you know. It'll be a few more days. But the next stage of my audio evolution, it should be pretty dope when that shows up. Cuz that is that's a really 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 nice microphone. So, yeah, I'm excited for that. And that pretty much wraps up this video. So if you're still here watching, good for you, I guess. And don't worry, this was a bonus. So there'll still be a normal video at the normal time. So hang around for that, and I'll see you then.